All right, guys, today we are going to be talking and doing a knife profile on the legendary, the Chris Reeve Knives Pacific. Now, without any further ado, let's jump right into it. While it was unclear why, while it was unclear when the Pacific was formally introduced into military service or under what specific name, this blade was designed in conjunction with the first special forces group of the airborne based in Asia and working in the Pacific frequently, hence the name Pacific. Similar to the Green Beret, also made by Chris Reeve, known as the Yarborough, the Pacific also has a military designation that is not known. While not clear what the differences between the civilian and military models are, the overall shape and design is the same, and most importantly, the effectiveness is there. The Pacific is great in a, f in a few ways. First, the, first and foremost, the ergonomics allow for multiple grips to be achieved with ease while allowing for the blade to be choked up on or held back for extended cuts. The texture and rough micarta give great traction and grip wet or dry. Next, the blade design and grind. While technically this grind is hollow, while technically the grind is hollow, the edge that allows for the edge to be thin and excellent for slicing while the near quarter inch thick blade or spine allows for robust hard use in any situation. The six inch blade also allows you to span a good deal of different materials and allows you to push it into a defensive situation if need be. In addition to this too, the CPM S35V mixed with the KG gun coat also keep the rust down and the edge retention up. So ultimately, why should you add this guy to your collection? The Pacific is one of those blades that I think many people would want to add to their collection if they are interested in the real military and tactical heritage of this blade. Like said, this is designed in conjunction with the first Special Forces group, so they had a lot of impact input and feedback into this blade, the overall shape, the design, the features, and the form, meaning that it is really purpose-driven to be a outdoor utility blade that can be flexed into military and tactical roles. In addition, in addition to, this blade is very, very capable across a wide variety of situations, environments, and continents, having been actually tested and used in many different continents, environments, and situations. This is a very well-proven blade with a lot of serious use and input and many years of actual wilderness slash tactical uh, time put behind the design. So this blade is gonna be best served as a serious hard use survival and utility blade that can be pushed into some, into some wilderness living applications while remaining quite rust resistant, especially in freshwater use. It is also reasonably lightweight, so that makes it desirable for larger pack applications where you may be going into, where you may need a multi-roll knife for extended durations in the wild across multiple continents and environments. Coming in at 11.6 ounces, that weight definitely does help. Uh, while, while, I'm out, while it may seem high for the overall size of this blade, that is quite a lightweight blade, especially for the thickness being considered. And so that does allow you for multi-roll, for a good multi-roll blade that is e reasonably easy to pack in. So overall, guys, that is some of the reasons why you should consider a Pacific and ultimately the kind of rundown on the history, the heritage, the use applications, and why I have a Pacific and why I love my Pacific by Chris Reeve Knives. If you haven't considered getting one, this is definitely not an ad or a plug to get one, but they are definitely serious knives with a serious rep reputation and are really fantastic blades overall. Okay, guys, that's all for now. God bless, and I'm out.